Morning everyone. Um, I hope you're well. Today's, um, today's Wednesday and I think we're on um, episode 83, which is great. Now yesterday I said that I'm going to, um, I'm going to do the how-to video for the, for the new Hampshire Sheen Sea Wax, or Quax, the carbon black one. Um, so I've got to get ready for that this morning and then uh, film that. So I'm going to I'm going to film that, but I'm also going to broadcast the filming of it live on Facebook, which is going to be um, which is going to be quite an experience because I've got to film and broadcast at the same time. But I can work uh, work my way around that. So I've got to set up the cameras um, first of all. Um, I use. I normally, with normal project videos, I use three of these, um, and they're really, really brilliant. They're nice and lightweight, they're easy to operate, and um, they're just superb cameras, full HD um, and everything, So, and then I also use um, a separate audio, um, a separate audio thing. Separate audio feed. Um, right, let me move you around a little bit so you can get a bit of a better view on what's going on. So this camera here is the one I'm going to essentially talk to. Normally, when I do a project video, the talkie camera is up here, um, but as this is um, essentially, as this is essentially a um, a Hampshire Sheen production rather than an M. Saban Smith production. Um, uh, I use a slightly different camera setup. <coughs> right, so that one there is the talking to camera, and then this one up here is the one that does the close ups on. Um, Is the one that does the close-ups on the piece. Now the other thing that's really important um, when making a video, or it certainly is for me, with a, um, a background in audio-visual stuff, is white balance. And it's really important that the white balance is as accurate as possible. So to do that, I use one of these, which is, uh, which is a grey card. And uh, filmmakers and photographers use a grey card um, to neutralise the colour space. So, you know, up here we've got... Let me tilt you up. Up here we've got um, LED lights, which are warm. Up here uh, is an LED panel, which is cool. Um, and then all the other lights are... Uh, fluorescent which are kind of a mix and then the outside light which today is uh, is a bit blue to be honest um, so I definitely need to do um, a white balance on this because the auto white balances aren't quite good enough so to do an auto white balance as close as possible I hold the um, not an auto white balance to do a manual white balance I hold the card in front of the in front of the piece or as close to the piece as I can um, and then set the white balance off the card. Now you are now where I'm going to be. So I've got the close-up camera up here and the talking to camera over there. But I've decided I'm going to broadcast the videoing of this um, of this video live on my Facebook page, which I'll put a, um, a link to in the description if you want to go and see the live bit. Um, but also I've put the laptop down here as well, so as I'm kind of doing the intro and the outro bit and maybe a bit of a Q&A session afterwards, um, I can read the comments because with the video playing, I can't read the comments very um, very easily on the, on the phone. So, uh, next I need to um, just make sure all of the cameras are lined up and the focuses are sorted out and then get co connected up to the, uh, the external mic. 
So there's the um, that's the external mic I use. It's a it's a Tascam DR05 linear PCM recorder. It's got two two microphones um, on the top, but I connect um, a, a lavalier microphone, and that just sits on my inside pocket and then that clips just on there. Now when, when I get home after I film this uh, I'll show you a bit of the editing and how I um, line everything up because we're filming with two cameras um, today. Normally with a project video I'd actually film with three cameras but the, pr the principle and the process is exactly the same. So <clears throat> I need to get um, doing this and um, yeah I need to get doing this um, so I'll put the links to the Facebook um, live stream in um, um, in the description, and and also probably possibly the link to the actual video bit here as well. Well, that went really well. I've got the video done um, for the C wax. Where's the where's the piece? Um, yeah, I've got the video done for the C wax, and also broadcast the whole thing live on um, on Facebook, and I. I Big, big thank you to uh, to those who were watching. Um, Stephen Hackett, Jeanette Gormley, um, Stephen Beedham, Barry Dyer, um, Maggie Irving, uh, Rob Summerlin, uh, Rob Hall, John Clothier, um, and the others as well. So thank you if you're watching this evening. Thank you for joining me um, for the live bit there. Now let me show you the piece that we did. Um, here it is. Here's... Um, Here's the piece that was in the video. So that's um, that was sanded down to 400 grit, and then used the black sea wax, the quax, the carbon wax, with um, a coat of the high gloss um, over the top of it. And that video is going to be available on the Hampshire Sheen um, YouTube page or U U YouTube channel um, probably by the end of the day. And I'm really pleased with how it um, how it turned out. The other piece um, that I've done with it is that one, which I think you may have seen, you may have seen before. But it's all good. Now, I think there are a couple of things that I need to do um, around here. Now, I need to give somebody a call back um, about hopefully, possibly stocking uh, Hampshire Sheen. I need to do that now. But then I need to get all of this kit back home so I can um, so I can uh, so I can edit it down and get the um, um, get the videos up. One thing I do need to do before I go home is take a photograph of the uh, product range for the front of uh, the video and also um, a few other sort of marketing bits and pieces. So down here, I've got the uh, got the products laid out on some. Uh, matte acrylic matte black acrylic um board and uh, i need to take a photo of photo of that so i'm going to record the screen as i do it so you can see um exactly what uh, what i'm up to with it okay right so for this um for this photo i'm just going to use um the google camera that's in here that's built into the phone and um, I'm going to use the, whoops, that's a selfie, don't want to do a selfie. And I'm going to use the pro setting. And then, oh, get down to the right kind of level. You can see all sorts of focusing things coming up. And I'm just having a look at it. Now, that I want the high gloss turned this way a little bit. And the sea wax turned this way. And the tie wax as well and that looks quite good get it kind of centered up in the background so I've got a little bit of the background over there and a little bit of the background over there line that up focus looks good and then take the picture raise it up a little bit and then focus and 
take the picture. I don't like it if it's if it's too too far down low. I like a slight. I like it where you slightly look down on the product so you can see, so you can see the lids. So I'll just do one more for luck, and that's it. Right, so we're back at home, um, and I'm on the uh, I'm on the PC. And uh, what I've done here is I've reformatted the um, the original uh, the original uh, thumbnail. There's the, there's the um, original thumbnail from the first batch of how-to videos I did, um, and I've actually used a different shot of the group of products. Um, there's the photo that we took um, earlier. But the new photo, I've forgotten I'd already taken, so I've just used that um, instead and had to slightly reformat the uh, reformat the thumbnail. Now, for video editing, I use um, Adobe Premiere Pro, um, and what I've got here is the uh, the two video feeds. Whoops close that. What I've got here is the two video feeds um, as well as um, the separate audio feed and they need to be lined up. Right so if you look um, if you look here we can see the peaks of um, well, the, the peaks and troughs of the uh, of the audio feed and if I play you can hear that they're not in sync. Hi, I'm Martin here at Hampshire Sheet, and welcome to this <laughs> video. We'll do it again. So they're not in line. So I'm going to pull the playhead over here. Oop. Zoom in as close as I can. Put it back. Oops. Put it back in line so you can see it. And you can see, if I just turn the camera slightly, you can see there's one one all the way over here, one there and one there. So I need to get them all lined up. So I'm going to pull this one to here, and this one to here, and then oh. play it. Hi, I'm Martin here at Hampshire Sheen and welcome to this how-to video where we're going to look at the newest product in the range which is Sea Wax, which is um, a carbon black. Right, that sounds good. Now the audio's lined up, I need to remove these two um, audio feeds because if you listen... Hi, I'm Martin here at Hampshire Sheen and welcome to this... It sounds a bit... it still sounds a little bit mixed a little bit rough so I'm going to remove these two audio feeds and then cut off all of the gump before that and then we can play again Hi, I'm Martin here at Hampshire Sheen and welcome to this how-to video where we're going to look at the newest product in the range, which is Sea Wax. And then you can hear um, how much clearer the sound um, is just using the, um, the external mic. And then from there it's just a case of going through and editing and cutting out um, all of the bits that I don't need. Um, but you don't need to see all that. That'll take uh, that'll take quite a while. So um, keep an eye out on YouTube, and uh, and uh, you'll see it up there. Right, we've done. Um, I've edited the video. I've uploaded it to uh, the Hampshire Sheen YouTube um, channel, and it's also just uploading to the Hampshire Sheen Facebook page at the moment as well. And I've just come back up to um, the coffee shop which is here on site um, to meet Phil Bolter from Kennet Valley Woodturners as he's, got, he's popping in for a cup of coffee and, uh, and uh, to uh, buy some stuff so looking forward to seeing him in a few minutes um, but that's going to be it for today um, it's currently 20 to 4 
and um, that's definitely going to be it. Um, interesting day today. It was good to do the live uh, the live feed on Facebook whilst I was recording um, the video, but both of the links are down in the description. If this is your first time here, please do like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you again tomorrow for another video, and hopefully by the end of the week for a, uh, a full-length project video. Thanks very much. Bye for now.